18, 18, Bob, toys, 18 toys, I've got some 18, more, more 18, 18, 18 toys, I like 18 toys, 18 toys, oh good. In 1979, his mother survived an alien abduction and escaped through an interdimensional space portal. Giving birth shortly after, the unusual child was brought up in the English underworld. Now, he is a toy and video game collector, an artist, a musician, a filmmaker, an incredible lover, a jester, and he is the leader of the Quacky and Monkey Lizard Army. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find him, maybe you can hire him. Salacious. Well, that's wrong. It's supposed to be the eight. Well, 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 if it isn't everybody's favorite Kowakian monkey lizard, the infamous Salacious Rum. Salacious Rum is one sexy half man, half Kowakian. Is that the Kowakian uh, monkey lizard? Even if he is drunk all the time and he is much better looking than B Crumb. Uh, salacious rum. I need my own official quack monkey lizard. Uh, salacious, I um, <laughs> uh, s you are far better looking than than, than salacious crumb. <laughs> salacious rum comes out some weird stuff. You just have to you just have to let him be. Thank you, salacious. Hopefully, we'll hear from you again. <laughs> uh, no doubt, salacious out. Well, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Slashes from the ape team. We're back. We're back. We're back. The ape team. The ape team's back. Bob, are you in the ape team? Um, yeah. Bob, you're not in the ape team. You're not in Bob. You're out. Bob! Bob! Bob's out! Bob's not in! You're out, Bob! You're out! You're out! You're not in! You're not in! <laughs> the 18 Bob! Bob! Bob thought he was in! Oh, Bob! Oh, Bob! He thought he was in the 18! But no! He's out! He was never in! We'll never get in, Bob! Never! Bless you! Oh, you thought you had a chance as well. Nope. Nope, no chance. Okay, well, okay, never mind. No. We can, but uh, we're not live. We can, but uh, live in hope. Uh, wag one, everybody. Welcome to Monkey Lizard Mail. We're back. I know we only posted yesterday, but had a couple of parcels today. And one in particular we've been looking forward to for a while. So, um, should we get into it? Oh, Bob. Oh, bless you. Yeah, what we got, Bob? What we got? Okay. Well, this, as you know, Salacious, we've been trying to collect all of the 18 toys. And we're doing pretty well so far. We've got the van, the attack van. We've got Faces Corvette. We've got all of the, the three and three quarter figures. And, all, and I think all of the uh, larger figures. This has arrived. It's huge. Oh, it's huge. So this is one of the remaining pieces. So you have to bear with me. It should make more sense as we as we open it. I'll try to make sure the camera picks up everything. Let's do this bit first. Um, the truth be told, this is the second time we've bought one of these. Second hand off eBay. The first time, uh, the seller didn't res ha didn't send it, and so we've actually got a dispute open with them because um, they're just not ignoring ignoring messages. In fact, we haven't got a dispute open. The dispute's been solved. We got our money back. Um, it's a very strange situation. Won the auction, paid for it straight away, and then nothing, from the, nothing at all from the seller. And then when you read back over the seller's comment, um, feedback, 
terrible feedback. So I don't know why I didn't check. But what's the point of selling something if you're not going to then send it? Especially as how easy it is to dispute it if you haven't received it, you know. So I don't really understand why people do that. Right. This is huge. So you're not really seeing much at the moment. Am I going to be able to put this down? Let's have a look. Can I get this down? Can I get this down? I have to do it this way. You can see some of the other A-team stuff there. Right, here we go. Here we go. Take you in. This box is absolutely massive. Look at all this, right, wow, okay, Feel like a bit of a mess over there, there we go, you can start to see what we're dealing with here, look, in fact, do I need to um, take all of it out, no, I can just take this out, that's better, right, I'm going to put you down with Salacious for a second, and I'll just get rid of this box, I don't think we need all this box, if there's anything else in there. Just check. See if there's anything nice and put anything else in there. I don't think so. I think it's just very well packed. Yeah. So, let's put that there. Right. Salacious. We're going back. We're going back. Here we go. Right, here we go. This is what we're here for. Cool. Let's get a little bit more flex on the camera. We'll just see here. There is the 18 van. There's the Corvette. I've got a couple of um, Airfix models on it. There's the attack van. I've got all the big things knocking about. And uh, all the smaller figs are in little containers. This is well, not not. There's a jet. There's some other things. This is a, a, a one of the last pieces of the puzzle. Very well packed. Very well packed um, from the seller. So thank you. Uh, let's here we go. Let's see if we can go on this side. Looks to be in bloody good condition, which is what we like. I don't mind them for a bit beaten, but um, it's nice when we get them you know, a, bit, a bit cleaner. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what. i tell you what. Oh, I'll tell you what, people. This is clean. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, oh, he's very clean. Look at this. Yeah. It's like the cockpit. There's the throttle. This is often faded, but look how clean it is. All four propellers intact. Sometimes this is broken, but no, very clean. What's that there? Just a screw. Is that just a screw? Just a screw. Tiny bit of paint wear. Sometimes these are damaged, but no. Oh, this is very nice. Very nice. But it's okay. The plus the, the cockpit is slightly scratched up, but I mean what can you what can you do? I mean this is this is how old? Well, 80s. 84, 85. This is from Ertel. You know, they often made die cast cars, didn't they? This is die cast. This is metal. This is not plastic. Oh, I don't want the light on in this case. There we go. 
This is well made. Oh, yeah, look at that. Howling Mad. Yes, how, it's Howling Murdoch's helicopter. So cool. Now, I'm slightly confused by the 18 toys because this looks to be... This looks... Like you, if you compare it, this looks to be in the 3.75 scale, doesn't it? But it's made by Ertl. Whereas these were made by... Who are they made by? Mattel? Or LGN? I want to say Mattel. So is this the same line? It looks like it's it's designed to accommodate the figures. If it's the same line, why is it a different manufacturer? Don't know. Someone needs to help me out. I'm a bit confused by it, to be honest. But wow, what a thing. Now if we put... We haven't really got room to put all of these out, but they work, they work. One of them slightly, oh no, well, there's a slight bit of curve on them, but they're supposed to have a slight bit of curve. Slight bit of curve. Jesus. So it's just that. Can we get it out? We can. Almost. So there we go. There we go. How about that? Tell you what, it's not bad, is it? Not bad. The E team. Oh, man. If you have a job and if you can find them. You can hire the ape team. <laughs> scared to... Scared to... I don't want to break them. There we go. There we go. Nice. They do fold up. If you want to put it on the shelf, they do fold up pretty well, look. That's cool, isn't it? What do we think? I'm down. Let's just see what's on the bottom. Let's just see what's on the bottom. Not a lot. From Maker's Mark. It's a little bit of a clean. It's a stamp. Can't see a Maker's Mark. Is that the Maker's Mark there? Hughes? Hughes? I thought it was made by Ertl. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not made by Ertl. Good condition, though. What do we think? Yay or nay? I think yay. But this is a great piece. Wow. So the A-team. I just, I, it's just the jet, really. There is um a small action figure playset that would be good to get. But it's pretty it's a bit bitty it's not very substantial i think the jet the jet is the is the golden goose we've got the van still need the cannon for the attack van got the corvette it's the jet scuba pete he's got the jet it's a nice jet it's a nice jet scuba the scuba the the scuba excuse me the scuba is what we're after next. No, the jet. It's the jet. But I am happy with that. I think that is a really nice example of the helicopter. Man, I'm loving the vehicles at the moment. The figures are cool, but I think I'm more into the vehicles, you know? God, this collect we're going to need a big collection room, I tell you. It's frightening, really. Now I'm starting to think about all the, vehicle, all the space we're going to need. Right, it's the vehicles. I love the vehicles. Just I say that. I don't know why. But I'm, I'm loving this Tron vehicle at the moment. <laughs> Comes by. It's parked up next to the Corvette at the moment. Man, I'm loving this. Right. We've got one other thing. Now, this other thing that I'm about to show. Um... I'm not going to say 
I was a fool. Um, but I certainly, it's not what I was expecting. But it's cool nonetheless. Uh, let's put this there. So, as I was, as we were talking about vehicles, I love my vehicles, as you know. Uh, as you know, I'm a strong supporter of British manufacturing. Um, and where I live in the Shires, it's home to a number of British marquee car manufacturers. Now, we used to make hundreds of thousands of cars. Um, I had a number of different companies. And over the years, globalization and whatnot, some of them disappeared. The British motor industry now is a strange thing because we mainly mark, we mainly make high profile, high marquee name cars. And um, if there's ever a competition between countries, let's say, let's say there's a competition between America, Britain, um, France, Germany, and you've all got to put up your you, there's a competi competition between the best car you can make in each sector. So you start with a small hatchback, then a, a family saloon, um, a sports car, a high performance car, a four wheel drive, an SUV, whatever. And then each country has to put forward their best car. Well, we don't really make mass. Well, we do make some mass market cars, but we mainly make high mark, um, high value, high marquee cars. I think we do pretty well, you know, with the Mini, to the Jaguar, the Land Rover, Aston Martin, um, Lotus. We've got some McLaren. We've got some real top end cars. Anyway, where I live, they make Jaguar and they also make Land Rover. I've been a massive Land Rover fan all my life. I'm, I'm, minis are made in Oxford, which is a little bit further south. But I've always been a Land Rover fan. Always been a Land Rover fan. And um, I've, I've, we've had Land Rovers. Um, I, I love the Defender. The Defender is the classic Land Rover. Used by... Um, well, used all over the world. Uh, it's, and it's, it's, a, it's a classic. Absolute classic. I also love my Transformers. And I saw on YouTube a transforming Land Rover. And it must be some kind of Japanese company or something. I don't know. Not Japanese. It could be some Chinese knockoff or I don't know. When I looked into it, it's actually an officially licensed um, product by a company called Rastar. Now, here it is. I've got the box. I've already unboxed it because I was desperate to see it. Now, when I saw it on YouTube, this thing was massive. And it turns out they do a few different versions. One, a remote control version. And this is the smaller one. And on, on eBay, you can't really tell, can you? So I was very disappointed when I got this out. Because the remote control one is amazing. This is still cool, but I haven't quite worked it out yet. But it is officially licensed, and they do make, they do have lots of different other types of car. But this is it. If anyone knows anything about Ras Star, let me know. I suspect it's Japanese, or sorry, I suspect it's a Chinese. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm not. Um. But anyway, so this is it. So I've already opened it because I was like desperate. To, uh, I was like, this box doesn't look right. It looks too small. So there is a larger one, and I am I am going to chuck down the larger one because the larger one I think might have a bit more play value. So I have got this out already. I wanted to play. I have to say, the the modelling and the scaling is very good. So this does look very much. It's licensed, so they've obviously had the plans. To a defender, um, it looks in it the it looks in very very good when it's in car form. It looks very much like a defender. 
he comes in transformer mode. So um, let's. I, I I was expecting the one I saw. It all happened without anyone touching it. There was a remote control. This one, you don't get remote control, so it's by hand. Like if you, but it's a one touch. Oh. What? Two, three, <laughs> what the hell? What the hell does he say? He says Jedi Rebirth. I mean, I don't know what is going on with the with the audio. Let's just oh. Interesting. I don't, I don't know if it's supposed to be pulled back. This desk is knackered. Knackered this desk. Up. This was an IKEA desk and I've actually destroyed it. But anyway, this is it. This is it. Look, look at this. This is it in transformer mode. There we go. And how cool is that? I mean, that, that is genuinely very, very, a very, very good. This is a very, very good die-cast defender. I mean, it's spot-on, really. And they did it in different colours. Uh, there we go. They did it in different colours. They did it in black. You often find, um, you know, high rollers in the black ones, don't you? They're used in hip-hop videos, and um, and I know the, um, uh, you know, a lot of executives and stuff have the black ones. Like I said, you know what I mean, executives, I, I don't know what I'm talking about, but you see them on TV, don't you? You see, like, um, the, the forces, special forces and whatnot in, in dark black ones, you can't really see it or out. But look at it, it's cool. But then you, these, the classic, the classic army green. I think the Queen's got one. There's a documentary where the Queen has one in this colour, and she's driving around Balmor Balmoral in it. So I think it's supposed to be pulled back. It's got a battery underneath. The only way I can work out your transformer is by pushing this. But then you can't get your hand out of the way quick enough and it falls over. It doesn't do that on TV. So I, I haven't worked out how you, whether I'm doing it properly. But I love robots. There's the robot's head. I like gimmicks, and I love Land Rovers. I don't know what he's talking about. He's talking about other nonsense. I don't know if you're supposed to click that, or... Uh, Transformer. So, it's officially licensed. I've been on their website. It's got all the Land Rover badges and everything, and they do tons of stuff. They do McLarens and Porsches and Ferraris and whatnot. Don't know anything about the company. If anyone could tell me anything about them, I'll be all ears. It's 132 scale. That's the bit that got me. I thought this was going to be the one I saw on YouTube was five or six times the size of this, um, and it came with um, like a controller, so you could drive it around or click it into robot mode, and it converted. So I still might try and hunt down one of the bigger ones, but to go. With it, I mean, he's going with my Transformers. There's no two ways about it. I mean, he's a he's a cool robot, and I do like I, do, I like some of the weird the, the non Transformer Transformers over the years. Like I've got the Cherry Coke Transformer. Does everyone remember that the Cherry Coke Transformer? I've got a nice copy of that. That was one of that was one of my grails for ages. So I tracked down one of those, and I like the McDonald's changeables, and um, and I've got a few weird ones, you know, a postman pat a van that transforms, and so this is cool. So he's um he's staying. I I actually was thinking, that you you see them in car boot sales quite a lot. I don't think they're desirable, but I might try. I might go back and collect the old. Oh, the old Star Wars Transformers. Jedi Rebirth. Shoot the Jedi Rebirth. One, two, 
free what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh, look, there's even the little... Can you see the little green Land Rover sign in the grill? So that's that's accurate as well. That's exactly how, where they are. So it's a cool Land Rover model. The 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 Transformers of it, you know, his legs aren't that great, but the mechanism is cool. Look, for a one-touch changeable. There we go. Talking a load of nonsense. Here. And it's very accurate. Very, very accurate. So there you go. That's it today. A little 25 minute video. We've got the Land Rover Transformable by Rasta. <laughs> God knows who they are. Let me know if you know who they are. And the A team. Howling Murdoch helicopter. Oh, there's the Corvette. Look, there's Faces Corvette. There is the van. Put a Spitfire on top of it. There is the attack van just behind. In fact, before we go, let's grab. Excuse me. There we go. Let's grab BA. Let's see if BA. We'll go. Just to happen to have BA to hand. Let's see if you'll. Will he go in there? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's not designed for these. It's a bit tight. I think he will. With a little bit of. I can get him hanging out. <laughs> there we go. So maybe it's not designed for those. But it's certainly a different manufacturer anyway. You'll probably go, oh, there's more room for him in the back. Because there's leg holes. I'll have him hanging out anyway. I'll have him hanging out. Let's get my Land Rover. There we go. The 18. And the Land Rover. How about that, people? How about that? Nice. Very good. Thank you for watching. Uh, you've been watching Monkey a Lizard Mail. Please follow Salacious on Twitter, Instagram, and SoundCloud at Salacious Rub. We're also on Facebook at Salacious R. Come over and follow out. It's a page. We haven't got many followers. Come and give us some love on Salacious R. We're on TikTok at salacious.rum. There is a merch store, if you're up for it. Salaciousrum.store. Got some cool swag. Um, we also have a P.O. box. So where is the P.O. box? There it is. Can we make it bigger? There we go. There's the P.O. Box. The P.O. Box is Salacious Rum, P.O. Box 1011, Worcester, Worcester, WR19EN, United Kingdom. And that's there for anybody that wants to send us anything. Any swag, any anything you want us to unbox. Uh, maybe it's a love letter. Maybe it's a postcard. We'd like some postcards. I'd like to see where people live. Send us a postcard where you live so we can start a little collection of postcards from around the world. That'd be cool. Um, or if you've got your own store, send us your send us your uh, sorry, if you've got your own channel, send us your channel logo and we'll we'll, we'll return the favor. Um, or if you've got any any unwanted toys that you'd like Slacious to unbox, then there it is. There's the PO box for you to use. Thank you for watching. Uh, please smash the like button. Leave us a friendly comment. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, we will be on uh, tomorrow. Uh, what was Salacious? We're on tomorrow. Uh, it's Saturday. We'll be doing some Jedi Survivor. Playing some PlayStation Jedi Survivor. 
tomorrow during the day. And then at about five o'clock UK time, we're going to be with the Top Gun model school. And we're building the RAF uh, Red Arrows Hawk jet tomorrow, which should be cool. So, uh, so come and join us then. How you doing, Slicious? Good, Bob. Good. Like the 18. In 1979, his mother survived an alien abduction and escaped through an interdimensional space portal, giving birth shortly after. The unusual child was brought up in the English underworld. Now, he is a toy and video game collector, an artist, a musician, a filmmaker, an incredible lover, a jester, and he is the leader of the Quacky and Monkey Lizard Army. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find him, maybe you can hire Salacious. Well, that's wrong. It's supposed to be the eight. Well, 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 if it isn't everybody's favorite Kowaki monkey lizard, the infamous Salacious Rum. Salacious Rum is one sexy half man, half Kowaki monkey lizard. Kowakian? Is that the Kowakian uh, monkey lizard? Even if he is drunk all the time and he is much better looking than B. Crumb. Oh, salacious rum. I need my own official quacky monkey lizard. Uh, salacious, I um, <laughs> uh, s you are far better looking than than, than salacious crumb. <laughs> salacious rum comes out some weird stuff. You just have to, you just have to let him be. Thank you, salacious. Hopefully, we'll hear from you again. <laughs> uh, no doubt, salacious out. Well, thanks for stopping by.